And while the latest Fox News poll finds that more than 75% of Americans believe the economy is in bad shape, shoppers are still spending. Yes, they're busy out there. Mills Hayes is live at the Mall of America. And Mills, what does this uh, shopping spree say about our economy at this point? Hey, Anthony and Natalie. Well, 18 million more Americans went shopping over the holiday weekend than expected. And some retail experts I spoke with tell me that this is a good sign for our economy. The National Retail Federation says a record 200.4 million consumers spent money this holiday weekend. 44% of shoppers say online was their go-to destination. I buy a lot of stuff on TikTok and stuff like that. So I do believe people use their phone more to buy stuff than in person. But Black Friday remained the most popular in-person shopping day with more than 76 million shoppers. But I like to go shop. I like to look. I like to try on. I hate buying stuff online. My wife, on the other hand, buys everything online. Most Americans say they are worried about the economy. Um, I feel like it's, it should be a concern to everybody. Just take precautions and you not know, just save, um, live below your means. But holiday spending is forecasted to grow 3 to 4 percent this year, totaling over $950 billion. The National Retail Federation says that sounds bleak, but it's actually a good sign. On a historic basis, 3 to 4 percent growth is very in line and, frankly, slightly above trend uh, of, of the last 10 years before the pandemic. So I think in general we still see strength and running room and resilience for, uh, for consumers and expect that to play out for the rest of the holiday season. I spoke with a marketing professor at the University of Minnesota who tells me that that 3 to 4 percent growth in sales from last year to this year does not include inflation. So that means that the real increase in sales is about 1 percent. That means that, yes, consumers are spending more money this year and feeling a little bit better about the economy, but it does not mean that our economy is roaring back quite yet. In Bloomington, Minnesota, Mills Hayes, Fox 32, Chicago. All right, Mills, thank you so much. And if you are still making your list, checking it twice, there are several items you may want to take note of. According to new research, the top recurring gifts are candy and chocolate, gift cards, makeup, books, and underwear also made the top 10.